Hi everyone, this is Sonera from Itsy Bitsy and I'm here to show you how you can make some really pretty cards using the die cuts with a view envelope and card sets. Now each set comes with a card which is based on one of the die cuts with a view uh, patterns. This is from the Mariposa pack and it comes with a card, a blank card and a matching or a appropriately sized envelope. So if you want to make a card real quick, all you got to do is start with one of these um, cards and then add your little embellishments and decorations to make it more you. So for the project that I'm going to do right now, I'm going to use this particular card. I'm going to set the envelope aside and then I'm going to make use of the Itsy Bitsy Foam Punch. Um, I, it's, a, it's a really versatile product because it cuts, it punches through foam and cardstock really easily. So I'm using it now to punch a little bit of a uh, little bit through the glitter foam sheet that I've got from Itsy Bitsy. I want some nice black, small little butterflies to decorate this card. It's um, really easy to do. You just punch and take out the butterfly and you're set. And once you're done, you know, um, you can also use it to cut cardstock. But at the moment, I'm just using it to cut foam. I'm going to take a black ribbon, a cross grain ribbon again from Itsy Bitsy and I don't have too much in it. So what I'm going to do is instead of tying a bow, I'm going to tie a knot. Now it's always easier to tie these things if you adhere the ribbon in place. If, um, if the ribbon is moving around um, and the, you know, the bow is difficult and you know, everything is going to be a big mess. So what I always do is I adhere the ribbon exactly where I want it. I place it in you know where I want it and then I ensure that the ribbon is stuck so that it's not going to move around and I can peacefully tie the little knot. Um, so I'm pretty much done with that and then I'm going to take all those little butterflies that I made just after I trim this ribbon. I'm going to take all those little butterflies that I made and um, maybe arrange them around this card but I think they need a little more oomph so to do that I'm gonna create a little body for each of the butterflies I'm using my glue gun combined with some itsy bitsy glitter stones now these are really convenient they, they come in a, a bunch of different colors and sizes and with a little bit of glue and a tweezer you can easily work with them so here I am gluing the little stones onto the body of these punched butterflies. It's staying on nice and tight. And I think it's adding a little bit of glam and fun to the overall effect of this particular project. Now I'm just about wrapping up my butterflies and then I'm going to just randomly arrange them on my um, card, my Mariposa card. The Mariposa stack is essentially butterflies. So if butterflies is your thing, then this is the stack for you. Um, so I'm going to use uh, my glitter foam butterflies and just add a little more decoration to the card front. Now I feel we too often neglect the inside of a card and so fortunately I've got some red glitter foam and I'm adding the same uh, dazzle body to the, the same color body to it. I guess it would be nice if you have some black glitter stones, but I don't have at the moment. But you can certainly get it from Itsy Bitsy. Um, then you just add the little stones and I'm going to just add them on the inside of this card because I think, you know, it looks nice if you could just continue the theme just a little bit on the inside. Now on to the envelope. These butterflies are so easy to do and you can get so many of them that it's only, it's the easiest thing in the world for me to do to decorate the envelope using these butterflies. <clears throat> and with that, my project is done. Here's how it looks, the envelope and the card together. Here's the inside of the card, really pretty. And here's the final pair. I really like it. I think it's so me. Now for my next project, I'm using another card from this um, die cuts with a view card and envelope set and uh, it's a very neutral background um, it really would go with anything so I'm gonna add a splash of pink and to do that I'm gonna use some ribbon um, some eyelets and um, some nice little stickers itsy bitsy's got the cutest range of stickers so I'm gonna try using that and maybe some glitter stones too 
Now, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, punch out some eyelids at the base of this card. Now, most of us use eyelids only um, for, you know, paper bags or for, you know, for the strap of paper bags or for, um, you know, card scrapbooking projects or mini albums. But you can actually, you know, make some really cute cards using eyelids. Um, I'm using the VR Memory Keepers eyelid set and I'm using my eyelid punch to just punch the eyelid through the paper. Um, I think it looks really cute because you know you, you get a kind of a interactive element to your card and I'm just gonna punch a little border of these eyelids all over the bottom of this card. So what you saw me doing earlier was measuring where I wanted to punch it and then uh, punch it exactly there. So I've got a few extra holes, I'm not gonna punch so many, but I'm just using them as a guide to figure out how I want to make this eyelid border at the bottom of my card. The eyelid punch is also available at Itsy Bitsy. Um, it's a really convenient thing to have because you can put eyelids in literally anything. Um, you can put them in your shoes, you can put them in your jeans. Um, I like to put them in albums and now you can see I'm putting them in um, cards. So it's pretty versatile and pretty cute. Now, right where my eyelids have formed a border at the bottom, I'm just using my pencil to mark a little spot at the inside of the card. And I'm going to use these glitter stones from, or these rhinestones from Itsy Bitsy, to cre create a mirroring border on the inside of the card. So, um, I, I can either use my glue gun, but I also find it very uh, convenient with these kind of stones to use the itsy bitsy glitter, uh, sorry, glue dots. Um, they're really easy to use and things like stones and stuff um, really are much neater and more convenient if you use the glue dots that um, itsy bitsy has. So I finished the inside of my card making that little border at the bottom and now I'm taking it a step further and taking these stones up um, two rows above my eyelid border. And I'm using a scale uh, along with my cutting mat to make sure that the, I'm sticking the stones in a straight line. Um, these kind of things, you know, you want to get it right the first time. So by taking a little bit of care, uh, you will ensure that you have a neat and clean project at the end of the day. Now, of course, no project of mine is complete without a ribbon and a bow. So I'm using some more cross screen ribbon from Itsy Bitsy. And I'm going to just tie a lush big bow. Fortunately, I have enough ribbon available so I can tie a nice lush fluffy bow right at the top. Um, this is how I do it. If you, um, I have done a tutorial uh, showing exactly how I tie a bow so you might want to catch that if you want to see it in slow motion. Um, that's pretty much my bow. I'm now going to just trim off the excess ribbon after making sure my bow is as tight as it can be. And uh, once that's done, I decided I don't want the bow in the center. I want it a little bit off center because I want to add this cute little itsy bitsy pink elephant <laughs> at the top of the card. I just love it and I think it's going to look super cute. It does come with an adhesive, but I just wanted to add a little bit of glue on it myself to make sure it stays exactly in place. So that pretty much does it for the card. I think it's looking really cute. Now I'm going to move on to the envelope and start embellishing it. Yeah, I think I'm done with that. Yeah. All right. On to the envelope. Now for the envelope, I'm going to use the same glitter glue dots and the glitter stones, the pink glitter stones, and create just a small border on the on the front or back of the envelope i don't know i think this is the back of the envelope but my mother always says it's the front whatever i think it's the back i'm putting these stones at the back of the envelope and on the front i'm on the flap i'm gonna just punch out three eyelets to go with the whole eyelet theme of my card and with that i finished decorating my uh, envelope it was really quick to do and that's the final look at my project. Isn't it cute? A little pink elephant card. Here's a look at all the details. Here's a close-up of that eyelet envelope flap. And here's a look at both the cards together. 
and um, I think it looks pretty nice. So with that I've come to the end of another tutorial. Do, do stop by our blog, the Itsy Bitsy blog, to find out more about where I got these particular items and how to buy them yourself. And stay tuned to many more tutorials from all of us here at Itsy Bitsy. Bye!